today let's take up the lesson accounting ratios and we will do operating ratio now first of all operating ratio this operating ratio establishes the relationship between the operating cost and the net sales and um, this is expressed in percentage right so first of all let's see what are the operating cost operating cost will be equal to the cost of goods sold plus operating expenses right we already know the formula for computing the cost of goods sold so i'll put it uh, down once again cost of goods sold is equal to net sales minus gross profit now let's see what are the operating expenses operating expenses will be equal to the administrative expenses plus selling and distribution expenses in some of the questions if you are given this interest on short term loans this will also be added and if uh, the discount allowed and bad debts is given that will also be added to the operating expenses right now we'll write down the formula for uh, calculating the operating ratio op operating ratio this will be equal to the operating cost upon net sales into 100 this can also be written as cost of goods sold plus operating expenses upon net sales into 100 right now let's take up a small question on operating uh, ratio i'll put down the question here these are the information that is given net sales is given as 4 lakhs cash sales is 1 lakh gross profit is 1 lakh office and selling expenses is 60000 and yes we are to find out the operating ratio this is a question okay now let's look at the solution for this now first of all i'll have to find out the cost of goods sold cost of goods sold here this will be equal to net sales minus gross profit now in this question you have to uh be careful about this cash sales which is given you're not supposed to add this cash sales to the sales amount because net sales already includes this cash sales so it should not be added once again right 
So, net sales minus gross profit that will be equal to 4 lakhs minus 1 lakh. So, that will be equal to 3 lakhs. So, 3 lakh is the cost of goods sold and the operating expenses here are the office and selling expenses which is equal to 60,000 right. So, the operating ratio will be equal to the operating cost upon net sales into 100. So, this will be the cost of goods sold plus operating expenses upon net sales into 100 upon net sales into 100. The cost of goods sold is 3 lakh and the operating expenses is 60,000. So, I will put it uh, here. So, this becomes the operating ratio will be equal to 3 lakhs plus 60,000 upon the net sales is 4 lakh this is 4 lakhs into 100 right. So, this becomes 3 lakh 60,000 upon 4 lakh into 100. So, which will be equal to 3 lakh 60,000 upon 4 lakh into 100 comes as 90 percent. So, the operating ratio is 90 percent right. Now, the next thing that we will look at is uh, this operating profit ratio, operating profit ratio. Now, we will uh, develop a relationship between this operating ratio and operating profit ratio. We have this formula that the operating ratio plus the operating profit ratio is always equal to 100 right. So, if in the earlier question like we got the operating ratio as 90 percent here. Now, supposing the operating ratio is 90 percent 90 plus operating profit ratio is equal to 100 that means, the operating profit ratio will be 10 percent. So, if you know the operating ratio and you have to find out the operating profit ratio, you can make use of this formula here right. This is operating profit ratio plus operating ratio is always equal to 100 ok. Now, let us move on to the next one that is the net profit ratio. The net profit ratio establishes the relationship between the net profit and the net sales right. So, the net profit ratio can be uh, taken out in two ways actually uh, normally we write it like this net profit upon net sales into 100. Uh, in some of the questions uh, you can if you are given the uh, tax amount, then we can put it as net profit before tax or 
net profit after tax. So, this net profit after tax is the same thing as the normal net profit that we write here, right. If the tax amount is given, then if you want to compute the net profit before tax, then the tax amount will be added to the net profit and then the net profit ratio will be computed, right. So, the um, commonly used formula for net profit is this one, this net profit ratio is equal to net profit upon net sales into 100, fine. Now, let us take up a small question on this. Uh, let us write this, cash sales is given as 2,20,000 credit sales is 3 lakhs, sales return is 20,000, gross profit is 1 lakh, operating expenses is 25,000, non operating expenses is 30,000 sorry 5,000 and non operating incomes is 30,000 ok. So, you have to calculate the net profit ratio from this ok. So, let us uh, do this here. First of all you calculate the net sales, net sales will be cash sales plus credit sales minus sales return. So, this comes to 2,20,000 plus 3 lakh minus 20,000. So, that comes as 5 lakhs right. Now, the next thing that we do is we have to compute the amount of the net profit. Now, here for doing that we have been given the gross profit. To gross profit you will add uh, you will add the incomes and you will subtract the expenses. Uh, if you remember the format of your profit and loss account in the profit or and loss account the incomes are added to the gross profit and the expenses are subtracted that is put on the debit side right. So, here I will write gross profit plus operating expenses plus sorry minus operating expenses minus non operating expenses plus non operating incomes. So, this will be equal to gross profit is 1 lakh minus operating expenses is 25,000 minus non operating expenses is 5,000 plus non operating incomes is 30,000. So, if you do this, this comes as uh, 1 lakh only, right. So, net profit is 1 lakh. Now, you can do the net profit ratio. This is equal to net profit upon net sales into 100. Net profit upon net sales into 100. So, net profit is 1 lakh. Net sales we calculated as 5 lakhs into 100, right. So, 1 lakh upon 5 lakh into 100 uh, that comes as 20 percent, right. So, this is how the net profit ratio is calculated. So, today we have seen how to calculate the operating ratio, operating profit ratio as well as the net profit ratio, right. So, with that I come to the end of this uh, topic on accounting ratios today. Thank you.